One way your Apple Card could be canceled is because you're simply not using it. The banks have a limited amount of credit they can lend to consumers and a major way they can make money is by charging you interest. If you don't use the Apple Card, there's no chance that they can collect interest from you so they'd rather take your credit line and extend it to someone who actually uses their card. Credit card companies will give you about a month's notice before closing your account for this reason, but they are not required to. If your Apple Card account is closed and it represents a significant portion of your available credit, then it could negatively impact your credit score. Because when your available credit limit goes down, then your credit utilization rate goes up, which represents 30% of your credit score. You can make small purchases on your Apple Card periodically to ensure this doesn't happen to you. You could set up automatic payments to your favorite streaming service. Another great way I've found to do this is by automatically reloading Amazon gift cards. You can set this up by clicking on your account button at the top right of your screen. Screen. Click on gift cards, then click on modify your reload settings. Then add your Apple card as a payment method. You'll need to find your virtual card number from within the wallet app. If you need help finding it, I'll link a video below that shows you how. Just remember, you'll only be earning 1% cash back because Amazon does not support Apple Pay. You'll have the choice of reloading any amount over $5 on a daily to monthly basis. You can even reload when your balance drops below a selected amount. This is a good way to automate the process of using your Apple Card regularly. Hey, just call me Cal. I cover topics that save and earn you money, and I'm on a mission to earn you the most cash back. Today, we're discussing how the Apple Card could be canceled and how you can avoid that fate. If you like no annual fee cash back cards as much as I do, please like and subscribe to see more videos like this one. The next reason your account could be closed is due to late payments. The Apple Card user agreement refers to them as non-conforming payments. If you pay late, then you're not only paying interest, but you're also potentially at risk for having your account closed. And your late payment can be reported to the credit agencies, which will negatively impact your credit history, which represents 35% of your credit score. The payment can only be reported late if it's made more than 30 days after the due date. If you already have good credit, it can drop your score by over 100 points and stay on your credit for about seven years. Adding to all of of that, your Apple Card could be canceled for this reason, which is stated right in the card's user agreement. You can avoid all of this by figuring out your best strategy for paying on time. You could try scheduling text or calendar alerts to remind you it's time to pay. You could try paying the card down throughout the month, which helps you in two ways. It allows you to pay the bill in full and also shows a lower credit utilization rate when the Apple Card's issuing bank, Goldman Sachs, reports to the credit agencies. If you're dealing with some sort of hardship, like job loss, then you can try contacting Goldman Sachs through the wallet app and making payment arrangements. But my favorite and foolproof way to pay any bill every month is setting up auto pay within the wallet app. Your life is already complicated. So adding automation to repetitive tasks frees your mind up for more useful and pleasurable thoughts. Late payments turning into account default is also a potential risk. A credit card default could be triggered for a few reasons. Not making the minimum payment, typically for at least six months. You or any of your participants breach any terms of the user agreement. You file for bankruptcy. You give the bank any false or misleading information, or you become legally incapacitated, which means you can't take care of your own physical safety and health. If a default is triggered, then Goldman Sachs and Apple can continue to charge you interest for outstanding balances. They can lower your credit limit, decline transactions, report Report more serious information to the credit agencies, which in turn lowers your score even further. Remove any participant, close your account, and send it to collection agencies. Before things even get that bad, you can try a few more things to avoid late payments and default. You can request a lower credit limit to avoid overspending. You can take the Apple Card off of any automatic bill payments that you can't keep track of. And you can stop actively using the card. Let's talk about the Apple Card user agreement. Anytime there's an update to the Apple Card user agreement, you must comply. Goldman Sachs can update the agreement at any time and you will be notified 45 days in advance of any major changes. If you continue using your Apple Card and logging into the wallet app, it proves that you accept the new terms of the agreement. If you don't agree to the new language, then Goldman Sachs can require you to close your account. You can find any credit card agreement on the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau website. And I'll link the Apple Card agreement below if you're 
interested in checking that out. Have you ever had a credit card canceled on you? Just this year, my Discover It card was canceled due to inactivity, and I vowed to never let that happen again. But let me know about your experiences down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, and you have a good one.